Okay, in a blood testing procedure, blood samples from six people are combined into one mixture, and that overall mixture will only test negative if all individual samples are negative. So if each of those six individual samples are all negative, the overall sample will test negative. Otherwise, it will test positive. If the probability that an individual sample tests positive is 0.1 or 10%, what is the probability to the nearest thousandth that the mixture will test positive? Well, let's think about what are the possible scenarios here in terms of number of positives and number of negatives. Uh, what's important here is the mixture will only test negative if all the individual samples are negative. Okay, so let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, we'll need seven of these. Okay, so if we look at the individual samples, there could be three, four, five, all six could be negative, or we could have five negatives and one, oops, let's redo that, one positive, we could have four negatives and two positives. We could have three negatives and three positives. We could have four positives and only two negatives. We could have one negative, the other five positive, one, two, three, four, five, or we could have all six Positive. So the overall test, when they're all mixed together, will only test negative if all six tests are negative. So this first one with the six negatives will test negative. And as long as there is at least one, so as long as there is at least one positive in the mixture, the overall test result will be positive positive and positive. Okay, question, what is the probability that the mixture will test positive? Okay, so here is, here is what we're looking for. The probability of any one of these cases, if the, the test, the overall test will be positive if there is one positive in the mix, or two positives in the mix, or three, or four, or five, or six. So there's six different cases. We would have to calculate the probability of each of these six cases one at a time, and then add them up. Again, this is a lot more work than we need to do. So if this is our event A, and we're looking for what is P of A? Well, over here, this is our event not A. So not positive means negative, and negative could only happen one way. And so we will, again, use the fact that the probability of A happening is always equal to one minus the probability of A not happening. In this case, the only way A doesn't happen is, is if all six tests are negative. Okay, now if the, let's go back up to the original problem and read, if the probability that an individual sample tests positive is 0.1. The individual sample test positive is 0.1, so the probability of one positive is 0.1, which means the probability, the probability of one negative should be 0.9. So for the probability of not A, that should be, well, Probability of the first 
sample in the mix is negative is 0.9. The probability that the second sample in the mix is negative is also 0.9. The third one being negative is another 0.9. And we're using the multiplication rule here. So that should be 0 0.9, say 0.9 times 0.9 times 0.9. Six times, or we would probably rather want to write it, one minus 0.9 to the sixth power. Okay, let's come over to the calculator for that. One minus, we'll say 0.9 raised to the power of six. Okay, so we got 0. 0.9. Four six eight five five nine, and we are. Let's see. Back to the problem. What is the probability to the nearest thousandth? So we're we are keeping three decimal places, and since the fourth decimal place contains a five, we round up. So the eight becomes a nine, and it looks like our final answer is zero point. Four, six, nine, once we round to the nearest thousandth.